Hi everybody, this is Lori Levins from Visible Body, and today we're going to talk through how you add a course to courseware and how you assign due dates and publish those assignments for your students. So here I am on the Visible Body course page, and I'm going to add the Anatomy and Physiology course to my account in courseware. So you're going to see this window come up, and you can name this course anything you like. We've given the prefix sample Visible Body course, but you can delete that and call it copy and I'll just name that here. Now what you're going to do here is pick the start date of your semester. So today is the 24th. I know you probably haven't started your semester today but for the sake of the assignments you might want to say that this online course is going to start today and then you can say when you want your first assignment due date to be and that's because there's a certain cadence in the course already for the the due dates and we'll just apply that cadence for you. So if every assignment is due every day or two, that cadence will stay, we'll start on the 26th and that cadence will follow. And I'm gonna show you how you can edit that anyway later. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then you'll see that this course is populating right here. Anatomy and Physiology copy for demo. <laughs> so that's the name I'm giving that course today. So here you can see that my course is populated. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that course. You can see that there are all the different units and for every unit there are a bunch of assignments and graded quizzes and lab activities. Now I'm opening the skeletal system unit because we'll just use this as a model. You'll see here that there are some due dates that these are now going to be released to the student on the 26th and due the same day. And we're gonna show you how you can change this on an assignment by assignment basis um, and how you can also do it in bulk. So you'll see this little gray icon here, and this means that nothing is published yet. So when you copy a course, um, and even when you create a course from scratch, nothing's gonna be available to your students yet. So let's take a look and see how we do that. So this first module is some assignments and some practice quizzes. So let's say that you like everything that's here, the description works for you, and all the assignments work for you. Let's go ahead and change the due date and publish it. So down here at the bottom, you'll see there's an edit button. So here I am, I can go and change the due date right here. I'm gonna make this due instead of April 26th. I want my students to complete this by the 17th. And I'm gonna delay the release because maybe I don't want them to have it now. I don't want them to get it until April 1st. So you can go ahead and set that just like that. And then you can save a draft if you're not ready to publish or you can publish and you can decide here to send an email notification to all your students. So all the email addresses in your roster will get an email saying this assignment's been published if you choose. Or you can go ahead and just publish it. And then the student will note in their view of courseware, in the assignments there'll be a red circle and the number of assignments that are due um, since they last logged in. So they'll see it no matter what, but you can choose to email them or not. So I'll go ahead and publish. And then we'll just say, are you sure? And then you have another opportunity to send an email to the students here if you'd like and you can hit OK. And then you've got confirmation here that it's been published, and you can go back, and you'll see that instead of that um, gray icon, you've got a green publish icon. OK, so now I'm going to show you how our bulk functionality works. So let's say you wanted all of the assignments in this particular module do on the same day and published on the same day. So what you do is go up here to our bulk editing feature and you just open that up. And you're gonna select the folders or assignments you wanna bulk edit. So let's go back into our skeletal system folder. And let's say that you wanna select, you can actually select the whole thing. And then this one's already published, this top one, so you can unselect it. You can say, you know, I want them to do those modules and practice quizzes by the 17th, and then I'm gonna give them the rest of the week of the following week to do the rest of these activities. So these are the things that I wanna change. So let's go to assignment dates. Let's go to the release date first. So I'm gonna make these available to my students. Let's see, the first, the first module that we said is due the 17th. So, I am going to give the students, I think I'll release this on the 17th, and I'll pick the, the time here, let's say at noon. And that way, that Friday, they're ready to now move on to the next. So now we're going to edit the due date. You get some options here. So let's edit the due date. And we'll say, okay, they're going to start on the 17th, and I'm going to give them to the, let's see, let's give them to the 28th for the rest and we can also make that do 
at noon. And then you can apply those and we're great. Now we have confirmation, the due dates and release dates have been changed. So what do we wanna do next? We're gonna go ahead and publish that. And we're gonna say, great. And you have that opportunity to send the email to the students or not. Let's check it here and then we'll hit publish. So now you're all done and you can return to your course. So that's how you do it. We hope it's really simple and easy to follow and please let us know if you have any other questions on your journey. Thank you.